Joker. Let's get ready to battle. Feel the intensity when power and technique collide. Crush the competition. Let's begin. 2001 is the year we make contact. Welcome to the revolution. フィールドは空いてんだけど、今泉さんが空いてないな。あちらもちょっと微妙に遅れてるんですね、なんか。一秒ぐらい。うん。一マックス。ああ、翔さん、ここつなかった。ここは避けてからのレベルさん、ナイトメア。ヘッドプレスは現。Dodge is the unique mechanic for S groove. Dodge is a similar mechanic to Roll, it is done by pressing both Light Punch and Light Kick at the same time. And just like Roll gives a character invul frames starting on frame 1, 35 frames in this case, and is susceptible to throws. But there are some major differences between the two. Dodging does not move your character forward, and while every character's roll has a certain number of recovery frames, Dodge has zero recovery frames, if you do nothing during the dodge. Meaning that you can immediately block after a dodge attempt. Now you might think that means you can immediately do a frame 1 invincible attack after the dodge ends, but you would be wrong. There is one frame after a dodge where you are unable to do a super or a special. Now you can still try to do a special right after a dodge, but if the opponent times their attack right, it will beat out any attempt. Now I did mention that you have no recovery when you do nothing during the dodge. This is because you can cancel out of a dodge early. You can cancel out of a dodge in three ways. You can cancel to two different attacks, depending on if you press punch or a kick or you can cancel to another dodge. Strangely, the timing for the dodge cancel actually depends on the character. Here's a table showing at what frame during the dodge a dodge cancel is possible for certain characters. As stated before, you can cancel to another dodge. This just restarts your dodge animation while maintaining the invincibility, and you can continue to cancel to dodge any number of times. As also stated before, dodge can be canceled to do different attacks depending on if you press punch or kick. The strength of the punch or kick does not change the cancel attack in any way. Different strength attacks will still produce the same canceled attack. The only determining factor is if you press punch or kick. One attack will always cause a knockdown on hit and cannot be canceled. This causes a knockdown regardless if the normal that is used in the dodge attack wouldn't knock down normally. The other attack is cancelable either to a special or a super. The different attacks for each character are predetermined and cannot be changed, so some characters will have stronger dodge attacks than others, like Sagat standing fierce being his knockdown attack, or Kami having close heavy punch or far heavy kick for two dodge attacks. Some characters will just have attacks that are just not very good, <laughs> such as attacks that are with very short range, or even attacks that will whiff crouching opponents. I will leave it up to you to figure out what dodge attacks your characters have. As you notice, I specifically said close heavy punch and far heavy kick. This is because even if the normal use would change in a regular setting, depending on if you are close or far from the opponent, aka a proximity normal, the dodge attack will only ever give you the one version. So in Kami's case, even if the opponent is very close, her dodge kick attack will always give her far heavy kick, and vice versa for any attack that is always a close version, even if they're far away. Because dodge doesn't advance you forward, its use is slightly different than roll. While both are used to evade incoming attacks easily at max range, dodge is more used in the neutral as a footsie tool to be used at specific ranges. The goal of a dodge is to try to bait out a normal or attack that you can try and punish. A common idea is to fake a throw attempt just out of throw range. This can cause your opponent to whiff a heavy attack if they try to break a throw attempt, giving you the possibility to punish. If you're trying to punish with a cancelable attack, ideally you want to be able to cancel to an attack that leaves you safe. Unfortunately, that might not be possible with some characters, Again, I will leave it up to you to find the best options for your characters. Dodging versus jumping opponents can sometimes throw off their attack timings, but if done too often can easily lead to opponents going for empty jumps and punishing the dodge with a throw. Similar to rolls, you don't want to be too predictable when it comes to your dodges. Dealing with dodges is different than with rolls. With rolls, the opponent would advance towards you, giving you the chance to throw them or punish them on their recovery. While you can punish a dodge with a throw, them not advancing forward and their ability to cancel the dodge early means you have to try and pick your spots to go for throws. If you're fighting at mid-screen, sometimes it's best to remain patient. Dodges can't advance forward and because you're not held in proximity block, you can try and position yourself to punish any bad dodge cancel. All dodge attacks have a startup and recovery like regular attacks. 
While it is possible to try and beat out a dodge attack by doing an attack on a dodging opponent, the opponent has the option to cancel to another dodge instead, which in turn might leave you open to retaliation. Dodge is a very strong neutral tool for characters with strong dodge attacks. Unfortunately, it is a mechanic that is not seen too often due to S-Groove being considered the worst groove in CVS2. I hope this has given you some more knowledge in the use of dodges in CVS2. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. さあ、レベル 1 の、あら、ここもレベル 3、裏に出